It's a first and ten. Josh Jacob. Oh, he's got the big hole into the secondary. They can't get him. Back at the right tackle to the near side. Oh, it's picked off. Kiss McKinney. Goodbye. Pick six. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not see what we're looking at here very often at all. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, I mean seeing the youngest team in all of football last season go out and somehow get younger in free agency. I also mean seeing a team that is historically known for not spending money acquire not just one, but two of the biggest names on the free agent market. And sure, when you're talking about the Green Bay Packers, it's safe to say that you guys have been through nothing short of a roller coaster of highs and even lows up to this point in the 2024 offseason. But uh, I don't think that some of you have realized yet that what this team just pulled off, it might be something that you need to see to believe. But before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by our friends at Mantis Sleep. So do you guys ever have those points where it feels like you can't get a good night's sleep even if your life depended on it? Well, that happens to me pretty much every single night. That is until I got my hands on Mantis Sleep, the best and most advanced sleep masks in the entire world. I mean, no exaggeration, guys. This sleep mask will change your life. They provide 100% blackout for deeper sleep. Eyelids that are fully adjustable to fit all head sizes. And with different options to choose from, like, say, their sound mask. With built-in Bluetooth headphones for side sleepers like myself. If I'm being honest, I have never slept better. And if you guys head over to manasleep.com through the link in the description and use code FOOTBALLDIGEST at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order of any Manta Sleep product. So again, guys, do yourself a solid and get yourself the one and only in Mantis Sleep. On top by three, handed Jacob. Good move on Alexander. And Jair Alexander. 26 years old. That is the age of Josh Jacobs, the man who is projected to be the oldest skill player of anyone across the board on this 2024 Packers offense. Another number you'll want to know, 52.1. This, on the other hand, was the passer rating of quarterbacks when targeting Xavier McKinney in coverage last season. The best of any defensive back in all of football. And guys, I get it. It's early. There's still a lot in this offseason to unfold, whether that's the rest of free agency, the draft coming up, etc. I mean, hell, this team probably has more up their sleeve in free agency after I'm recording this video. But uh, in terms of how much they've already potentially set themselves up for success next season, like to an extent, I don't think words can do it justice. Let's start with both the blindside addition and, of course, the blindside subtraction in the running back room. Now, guys, with what's being leaked about the Aaron Jones situation, it honestly sounds like a shit show, and I'm very interested to hear what you have to think about that situation in the comments down below. But in terms of Green Bay actually making that transition from this guy to this guy, all emotions aside, it could change everything. Now, the biggest determinant of that, on the other hand, is going to be health. Because when healthy, Jacobs is arguably one of, if not the most dominant running back in all of football. And some of his numbers from his first Team All Pro 2022 campaign, they will make that very clear to you. However, when you compare that to his injury riddled and honestly hilarious head coach and offense he had been dealing with for half the season, those numbers, they tell a completely different story, and that definitely played a big role in the contract he received as well. But you guys, Josh Jacobs, we've never seen him in an offense quite like this one. Now, Matt LaFleur's offense last season, surprisingly, they posted a top 10 efficient run game in the entire league. And keep in mind as well, that was only with getting 11 games out of Aaron Jones that season. So, I mean, you replace both of these guys with someone who is practically a combination of both of their skill sets. It is a whole new weapon for Jay Love in this side of the ball to work with. 
to start, there's the use of him in the ground game alone. Which, while he obviously doesn't match the explosiveness and acceleration of an Aaron Jones, I mean, I would definitely say he makes up for it with his ability to drive gaps quickly that are created while also piling on plenty more of yards after contact. Then, even when you look to the air attack, he is just as viable and consistent of a threat in that regard. And sure, while most of it is probably only going to be through heavy use of screen designs, it's still a completely different situation to consider here. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, he's arguably going to a more improved offensive line to work behind. Not to mention this, but also the fact that he is now going to the fastest rising dual threat offense you could argue in all of football. And in most situations, the main focus, it's not going to be on him, but instead, it'll probably be on one of the best young wide receiver cores we have in this league right now. I mean, you all saw Jacob's numbers from the past when defenses knew he was going to be running the ball down their throats, so I want you to just try to imagine what he's going to be capable of when we see him join what was undeniably one of the best play-action offenses that anybody saw in 2023. So, yeah, pull up that graphic for me one more time real quick. Now, this side of the ball, it's practically set in stone at this point. But what about what this guy does for the opposite side of the ball? Now, in terms of, say, a dream come true scenario for Packers fans and what they wanted their team to do over the course of this free agency period, and Packers fans, you can definitely let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but Xavier McKinney, I think he literally is that dream come true. I mean, just on one side of the equation with some of the numbers and the film you're seeing alone, they indicate that he might be one of, if not the best safety we have in the league right now. But trust me, you guys, it's not just that because it also has a ton to do with how much Xavier McKinney seamlessly aligns with the new defensive scheme from coordinator Jeff Halfley. And I say this for two major reasons. One being the likely switch to a 4-3 defense and second, the heavy use this team is now going to be seeing of one high defenses which again when you're talking about xavier mckinney it's pretty clear that there aren't many defensive backs in the league that can cover all areas of the field quite like he does i mean seriously guys you look at this man's play from any regard whether it be zone coverage man coverage pass breakups targets tackles you name it i could keep going point being in all of this is that this guy he is a mile of an upgrade compared to anyone this team has had at the position for years on end and him joining a defense Defense that's young, got something to prove, and taking a whole new direction this upcoming season. I mean, hell, the sky might actually be the limit for this team this season, but that's also where I'm extremely curious to hear what you guys have to think of them. So please let me know in the comments what has been most surprising to you out of everything we've seen the Green Bay Packers do so far in the 2024 offseason. And of course, if you had to, give me a prediction for what their final record's gonna be in the 2024. 24 season. But once again, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all more than anything, and I will see you guys in the next video.